Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the best day trading investing money management channel on YouTube. Now, in today's episode, we are doing a pretty well requested video. It's gonna be talking about how to scan for swing trade stocks on the TOS or the Think or Swim trading platform. Now, before we get started, this episode is brought to you by Trade Ideas. Trade Ideas is one of the premium day trading and swing trading scanners out on the market. And you guys can get 15% uh, off any product on their platform just by using code MVP15. All that will be down below for all for anybody who uses it. You know, it's a great little tool. But today's episode, we're going to be talking about the uh, swing trades on the TOS or the Thinkorswim platform here and how to really scan for stocks that you know you see some value in so that's pretty much jump into it now i already have it pulled up here so if you guys want to take a screenshot or anything like that you guys are more than welcome to just so you guys can have it and you don't have to keep referring back to the video but we're going to be looking at it and then we're going to be breaking down some stocks and on pretty much why we use these filters all right so pretty much the first filter here we have is the last now this is the last price available to actually buy the stock so i like to have this uh anywhere from you know five to twenty if not up to you know thirty dollars now we can put in 30 just to kind of change it up there and then i like to have the volume just a minimum of ten thousand. i want some people buying this stock i want some people looking at it now you guys are more than welcome to change it to anything that you guys see value in now the next thing here we're going to be looking at is the beta the beta is just pretty much the volatility of the stock now if you have a very very high beta that's a very very high volatile stock if you have a low or a negative beta that's a very low volatile stock so there's not a whole lot of movement in it and that's pretty much what we're looking for now we don't like to really trade stocks that we day trade just because or we don't like to swing trade stocks that we day trade just because most of the time they're super volatile second of all it's a completely different strategy now there's a lot of tools and tricks and everything like that that you guys can implement you know from day trading into swing trading but it's kind of like it's kind of like this Imagine if you were a heart surgeon, okay? And you learn this strategy and you learn this, you know, this, uh, sur you know, whatever, you learned how to do a surgery, okay? Now let's say somebody said, hey, can you do a elbow surgery? And you said, well, I know how to cut and I know how to, you know, do stitches, but I don't know, you know, a lot of the stuff. Um, it's the very same thing with day trading and swing trading. You know, a lot of stuff is pretty, pretty the same, uh, but there's some stuff that's different and you got to learn and practice the same way as you would with day trading for swing trading. So now once you find something that works for yourself here, you're going to want to click scan. Now this is going to be all the stocks available. Now you might be saying Carter, that is an awful lot. Well, what I always do is I like to change it by the volume. Now the reason why I change it from the volume is just because I want stocks that people are buying and looking at. So I like to change it from there and you guys can look all the way down and see, you know, what's, what's really moving. So next thing here is we're going to save this. So we're going to click save, uh, swing trade stocks. Perfect. We're going to save that up, replace it. Okay. So boom, boom, boom. That's good. So now we're going to go to charts. <clears throat> now we're going to want to come down to here and we're going to want to click add. Now, I already have this up, but we can remove it and then we can do it together. So we're going to want to click add and then go to watch list. The watch list is going to pop up of, you know, any old watch list that you have. So we're going to want to go to personal and then go to the swing trade stocks, the one that we just saved. We're going to click that and then all of those stocks are going to uh, filter in here. Now, we're going to want to make sure these are linked up. You see how this says one and it's red? We're gonna to wanna to go here and make this say one red. So we're gonna get that in tune. So now when I click a stock here, it changes over here. So the next thing here is we're gonna to wanna to click this little settings icon right to the far right of all these menu tabs. We're gonna to wanna to click, click customize and then type in volume. 
we're gonna want to come down here and just double click this and then I like to move it up by the last if we can so now I'm gonna click OK and then we're gonna see this volume kind of come in so now we're gonna want to filter this so now it's you know starting from the uh, lowest volume we're gonna want to do it from the opposite from the highest volume so the next thing here is we have uh, four moving average lines. We have the 200, 90, 20, and 9. I use the same same ones for day trading. Uh, the only thing that I change is the time period. I like to put it on the yearly chart just because, you know, most of the time I'm holding these stocks for, you know, a couple weeks, maybe a month, maybe two months, never more than a month or never more than a year because when, it, when you kind of get into over a year, that's more of like a long-term investment type deal it's not really a trade it's more of a long-term investment so the next thing here once you kind of get those up very simple on how to add those moving average lines all you got to do is click studies and then you guys can go to edit studies and then put them in that way you just type in moving average line boom now the next thing here i have the rsi line and that's right here. The, RS, the RSI line is the relative strength index. Pretty much tells if a stock's overbought, oversold, and you can kind of judge your trades off that. So you kind of want to buy when it's down here and sell when it's up top. So we're going to want to click OK, make sure all that is good. It'll take a, you know, a second to uh, load up. Now it loaded up, so now we are good to go. So now we can actually start looking at some of those scans that we we did a little bit ago so we're going to want to just literally just start going through them so a acb <clears throat> stocks at a 550 multiple 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 uh multiple what you might call it mo or resistance lines so these moving average lines they act as support and resistance points so when the stocks below it they act as resistance and when it's above it like this they act as support you guys can see when it comes in taps it continues to ride it taps it again a little bit and then once it gets under it it uses that as resistance boom 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 so if the stock pretty much gets above 750 that looks pretty interesting so we're gonna we're gonna set a alert here we're gonna go down create an alert Take a minute to load up just because I have so much uh, stuff going on my computer here. We're going to want to make this go probably, you know, 750, 751. We'll put it at, um, you know, whatever you guys want to do here. We're going to click that. Give it a minute to load up. Boom. So next one here, AES. Same thing. It's the exact same thing. So really... It's kind of loading up. It's taking a minute. I don't know why it's doing this, guys. Never had any issues. Only literally when I record videos is when it takes a while. So there's multiple resistance lines. You know, every time it comes in contact with it, it looks like it starts selling off. Um, let's pull it up on the, uh, see if there's a bigger, bigger time frame. Three-year chart. Okay. Yeah, this looks a lot cleaner. All right. So pretty much over you know over seven seven eighty maybe you know you could probably get a dollar but then there's a ton of downside you know but one thing i do like is i like how it's above the uh 90 and the 200 moving average line so we can set an alert to see if it kind of breaks above here let's set an alert at maybe seven dollars seventeen dollars seventeen oh five left click create an alert I like to just have these alerts set um, at just specific uh, price points just because when they come in contact, I'll get alerted and then I'll say, okay, I remember putting this here um, and that's why. So AAL, let's see what this one's doing. Same thing. This is just a big sell-off. We need some sort of reversal. So really we just have this huge sell-off, guys. This huge sell-off, you know, and it's just falling below all of these all of these moving average lines. And if you look all the way down here, you know, there's some, uh, there's some, some movement, but let's see. So it's maybe there, you know, there could be a possible buy, just maybe a scalp trade from 
26.31 to possibly 28, but it's just on that downside trend. Stick to our rules. Never trade uh, the never trade against trend lines. So we're gonna look away from it. No big deal. AEO, we're looking at um, same thing. We're gonna set an alert at here, pretty much 24, maybe 24.20, 28 because this one has a tendency to, once it hits above that, then it'll probably ride all the way to 29. And that's what we want here. So we're gonna create an alert. I was hoping to find something that actually looked interesting and we can kind of talk about it. But all these stocks, you know, they look strong, but they're just below these moving average lines. And that's not what we want. That's not what we want. So trade the best, leave the rest. AAA, same thing downward trend line no big deal we're going to kind of speed this along abr all right so something that kind of looked interesting it's above the 200 it's above the 90 it's kind of in this consolidation zone you know maybe a possible push if we get some more volume a possible push all the way up to maybe 14 dollars um you know i like how it hit this 90 moving average line and then immediately bought up same thing here same thing back here so here's what we're going to do we're going to set an alert at the 90 moving average line now when this stock gets when this stock gets sold off it has a tendency to get bought up at the 90 moving average line we're going to ride the wave for this one and wait for it to come back in contact with it and then we're going to buy it you know maybe for uh, maybe for some, you know, maybe starting out small, maybe it's a, you know, $11 stock. We'll buy, we'll buy 200 shares and see where it goes. Setting stops probably below $11. So maybe at, you know, 10, 10 95, all the way to 10 90, 10 cents to make a dollar. That would be excellent. That's the goal for that one. And when it gets sold off here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna come all the way back down here on this RSI line. So that will definitely help the trade along. So ABR actually looked pretty, pretty interesting. So we're, we can create another watch list here. We're gonna go to create a watch list and then we're just gonna do swing trade. All right, so we're gonna put ABR. Boom, perfect. Click done, that one's good. All right, we're gonna do two more. ABB, ABB, same thing, no big deal. ACCY, it's a five, I don't like that, but we can pull it up. Same thing, we need a break above it. Um, that's, let's look at this one. Some sort of sell-off. It is actually coming in contact here with some uh, with some recent support, recent support here. We're just looking, we're just looking to see if something could happen here. Okay. Now this is just gonna be a quick breakdown guys. Okay. So is this, is this stock comes up and we start getting some sell off? If you guys look and pay attention. All right. So there is here, let's pull up this. Let's change the drawing tool here. So we're going to come in contact with all the support lines. So boom, we're just going to draw them out just so you guys can see, just so it makes everything easier. So this is all the support. So new support or old support is new resistance. So as this stock comes in contact, boom, comes up here, new support comes into new or old support comes into new resistance. So old support, new resistance, boom, 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 old support new resistance you know it's just it's just a little tool that you guys can pick up on um it's you know it's it's a decent little trick that i found um let's just continue aciw um like this one i, I can tell you that right now over 32 i'm long for it possible break all the way back up to 35 setting stops maybe five cents below or 10 cents below that so we're gonna leave it there at the end of this video. This is gonna be it though. So, you know, that's pretty much how I find stocks to swing trade. It's very simple. It just takes a lot more time to actually find these stocks, especially on the Thinkorswim platform. If you guys have the T 
TD Ameritrade, or not the TD Ameritrade, if you guys have the Thinkorswim platform, you guys can create a scanner that works for yourself and it's very, very, very simple. Put all that down below. But this is just a great tool that I found on how to, you know, for someone in that free budget route who wants to swing trade, start getting their feet wet trading. It's a great scanner, guys. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, drop a subscribe and comment on the video. Talk about what stocks that you guys see value in. I'm excited to look at them. So that is it, though. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and have a great Labor Day. Take care.